This clip is brought to you by Super 6. If you haven't already heard of Super 6, it's something that every football fan needs to know about. It's completely free to play. All you have to do is correctly predict six score lines for each round of the Premier League's action, and you could potentially win yourself £250,000. You can compete against myself, Theo, and Tom in the pitch side Super 6 Mini League. The code to join that is PTCHS6. And whoever tops the leaderboard each round wins themselves a £100 classic football shirts voucher. It's so so easy to play, just predict your six scores, enter your golden goal, hit submit, and you are all set to go. It's a free shot at a quarter of a million quid, so you might as well get involved. There's been three Super 6 jackpot winners already this season. You could be number four. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Well, here we go. Biggest domestic cup of the season. And it's a Manchester derby, boys. How do we think it's going to go? Boring. Uh, oh, City 5 0. But really, you give Manchester United no credit in that fixture? No. It's going to be 3 no, 1 City. I think 2 0 City. 3 1. 2 0. Interesting. I think we're doing a way better game with Brighton, in my opinion. I was gutted. You know what makes it even worse is that it's the Brighton boys from Lewis, Solly March. He's had a really good season. But, yeah. No, 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 that, no, no. No, it no. makes we, it worse because he's from we that area. We can't excuse it. We, we no. slated Salah. We slated Saka. I know, I know, I know. But the fact that it was a Brighton boy, you know, Lewis is down the road from Brighton, that who missed the penalty to knock, but, essentially knock them out. It's just, it, I, you feel for him. You do feel for I, him. I, I, you I, can't I, miss the target. A little bit, but he also did the exact same penalty in the league Charlton. cup that knocked them out as well. Like for like. Don't put them on pens. Wait, well, what? Someone what? Someone else the the put order. it down the middle. Yeah, but that's where oh, he goes. Yeah. I think. No, so he tried to. He tried to put it top bins <laughs> <laughs> across himself. Yeah. Were, the standard of penalty. They were brilliant. brilliant. By the way, why don't you just kick it in Oy, the net? How good by says the way. Theo Baker? How good? I can't remember who did it. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Lindelof. He just laid, you know, remember Maguire's penalty in New York? Like no, it weren't it Lindelof. Bins. Lindelof was the last. Penalty. Lindelof was the final penalty. Who laced it like top right? Lindelof. But he didn't lace it because side footed it. Yeah. No, that was so, a fine what, was it a Brighton player? One player laced it top right. I was like, ooh, that's ballsy, that is. I don't know. Anyways, it was class. What do you think of the game, though? Boring. I feel like Brighton probably deserved to win it, but. I'll be honest, I was in and out of naps. I was running a marathon. I kept falling, I kept falling asleep, but. Um, <laughs> what, at the, at the nil nil? <laughs> when I, I fell asleep at 5 1 in the Newcastle game and then. Yeah, woke up for like the last ten minutes, then and then watch. I was just in and out. It was a bit boring. I yeah. thought. Yeah. What do you think of the empty? Six? It was a fight. It was like a fine. It played like a fine. Um, it's cost of living, mate, and it's down in down in London. You know, like the Saturday Sheffield United City and yeah. the Man United game. There weren't that many for the United. Few, not not in not in non corporate bits. Yeah. And also, it was the mega weekend of London, wasn't it? It was a, it was a night. People need to stop that shit as well, man. Like, it's it's so expensive to travel, get tickets, and then sitting at Wembley sometimes two times a season. Yeah. yeah. Half those people have probably gone. Shall I spend all this money for the semi final or, or the final, the final which yeah. we're probably going to get to? Like, come on, like, you can't stop, stop shaming people for not going. And the people shaming them for not going to games aren't even. Oh, don't get to games, yeah. Yeah. Up, man. Like, if you sit on Twitter. All day you never get to games shut up about fans yeah. not turning up it's embarrassing that right there I'm back yeah yeah like and also can I London uh, don't get me wrong obviously we don't go to a lot of games because we, we do this yeah. but obviously oh my god how dare you fucking watch and watch along football oh my yeah, god, like, yeah, yeah. people who say that are idiots but we're, we're not sitting here shaming people for not going to games yeah. I, I've, 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 I hate, it really winds me up and yeah City we all know City haven't got the fan base of Man United Whoa, fuck it. Tell us more, yeah. will ya? Well, it's the same logic as to why the Sheffield United end was probably more full. Because if that you see that fixture, final, exactly. Yeah. If you see the fixture against City, you go, oh, I'll probably go to this one because <laughs> you might not make the final. Yeah. But so. they should have they should have they should have held it at Old Trafford. Or, yeah, or some a neutral ground yeah. up north rather than or making Villa everyone Park. come all the what, way to London. Go to Villa Park, like yeah. it's you want them to travel down on marathon weekend. Yeah. It's just honestly, it's chaos. It wasn't just marathon weekend. There was loads of things. There was uh, protests as yeah, well. Yeah, you got the on the snooker championships. Oh, no, that's the crucible though, isn't it? Um, that's, yeah. That's it, was, it was like the mega London weekend where yeah, yeah. Like, you couldn't go anywhere. It was heaving. It was crazy. Very, very exciting. Mm. If you're there, the atmosphere was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But if you wanted to travel, no, I, was actually, I was actually having this discussion with Rory Jennings actually about, he, he was on about, he's worried Chelsea for the next few years are going to go a bit like shit. Mm. and he actually said he's like do you know what I don't really mind it because it and that's when I went yeah I've always thought 
if I, you're a Man United fan or City, you must get boring. I've always said that as well. It must do. Like, it's only exciting for like, like you at the minute. It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah it never happens. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I feel like if you if you do win, like, I, I'd give anything for Albion to win an FA yeah, Cup. Yeah, it gives, it gives more value to the game. I guarantee City just... fans do not give yeah. a crap. The yeah. thing, like, imagine City beat Southampton. I still like buzz off that Lords, but yeah. like they're not going to expect it. They're also very used to it as well. So if they don't win it, they're like, oh... And also, <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, yeah. Next year. Okay. <laughs> and also they time. were expected to turn over Sheffield United. So when they, there was the clip of the penalty of the fans, and they just caught, obviously they're already stood, and then they're just like, oh, they're not yeah. going mad. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. would be weird if they were all going like limbs. And like, <laughs> That's the four hundred and eighty goal score <laughs> yeah, this season. No. Well but I do hope I'm gutted for Brighton, you know, because I feel like this is like a, a, an era of them that I want them to get success. Imagine Brighton like FA Cup final if they get oh, a yeah, trophy, yeah, like, yeah. Be, it would be amazing. I got but a lot. Obviously, I got a lot of Brighton. Fa uh, Friends, and Brighton you, fans. Yeah, you're a Brighton fan originally. You should have been a Brighton fan. I was never fan. a Brighton fan. Originally. You should yeah, have been. I literally have never been a Brighton fan. Do you not feel fan. bad now for not for Gloria instead of picking a team like this? Yeah. And no, then... what? No, I never supported Brighton. But you should have. No, you should have. Yeah. Why? Because they need you. Because that's where you're from. But they're, they're, they're going to be really successful soon, so you can go Why don't you them? support Leicester? Yeah, yeah. Same reason. You probably should as well. I grew up, all my brothers are Arsenal fans. Uh, what, you're telling me there's no fans outside of well, where so they're if, you, if, your brother, if your brother told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> that's not, that's not, are you I'm so raised an Arsenal anything. fan. If anything, you should be proud of me that when Brighton start, started getting good, well, you, I didn't go over to them. Well, no, like half the fucking but people did. But, the, but Brighton are in this period now where they're going to get good. So if you stop wearing Brighton shirts, what happens then? Why? What, what the fuck? What are you doing, right? This is the most irrelevant <laughs> point I've ever heard. You are gaslighting me. I've done nothing wrong. Can I have my handbag, please? <laughs> Nibble. And you know, every, anytime I see but the point is, a Liverpool fan that isn't Scouse, I'll be like, how dare you? But the point how is, dare I've genuinely you? never met a Liverpool fan who's Scouse, by the way. You're a nah, Newcastle but, fan from Durham. Yeah. That's closer than half the <laughs> Liverpool fans. No, no. Liverpool is like, the whole Not from Durham, by the way, as well. That's too posh. Oh. Uh, the whole of Liverpool support. All right, Boovy, he's a Man City fan. Exactly. Yeah, and I'll rinse him every time I see him. All right, a Tobe Jizzle, the Man United fan. How dare I've he? I've never met him, but I'll rinse him if I'm How him. dare <laughs> he support Man United? God forbid, <laughs> fuck right. me. The, the, the important point to note is that this might be the start of Brighton's period of success. I hope it is for yeah. them. They deserve it. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think it will be. I just think you don't think they're gonna. I don't. Well, I, when they get their entire midfield gutted. No, I don't. Well, yeah, I don't see how pretty much anyone could win a trophy when you've got the likes of Man City around. The problem yeah. is, like, yeah, Casado's probably gonna go. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Solly March went to like McAllister's Liverpool. Going. McAllister's he's probably gonna go. Yeah. How long can they keep? finding these gems but you say that though Brighton are very good and at then, selling their best players and yeah, replacing their recruitment them very well very they have good. been yeah. but it's it doesn't last forever no and if De Zerbi goes who's to say they don't get the right manager next like, but if they get, I'm not even joking Brighton if they get European well, football whether it be Europa League or it won't I'll be probably, buzzing for him I think it's brilliant why would De Zerbi leave no no a, European football why would, why would Potter leave but money and big yeah. clubs come in it, it turns your head mate like, yeah, imagine, imagine a big Serie but Potter didn't have European football at the time whereas De Zerbi probably it was on yeah it looked, it looked likely same Still, similar there was a the definite chance position, yeah. I mean obviously De Zerbi's coming like, let's say next season let's say no one no one goes to Chelsea and they're going for De Zerbi, he'd probably go well not even that let's say uh, a big Serie A team come in and go oh Roberto do you want to Go back to your original country. Yeah, I hate football. Why do you hate football? Because yeah, if you're doing a great job, like continue, it's, mate. It's the food chain, it unfortunately. Is, yeah, Brighton's a cool place to live. It's, it's happening with uh, company. He's already being like yeah. painted for the Chelsea job, he's, and he's not even finished the season at Burnley. Yeah, he's literally done. He hasn't even completed one full season as a manager. Yeah. Oh, you're too big for them now, Vincent. Come on, off you come. Yeah, but oh, that comes thing. with success, doesn't yeah. it? It's like anything. Do you think company will stay at Burnley? I, honestly, I hope he does. I think, I it, think he will, you it know. It depends who comes in. Mm, I think he will. Genuinely, I think. I, I, I wouldn't blame him either way. Well, he's shortlisted for Chelsea, isn't he? That's the move that he's been... And he's, yeah, Spurs will be interested, I'd, I'd imagine. Where do, what do you think? I want to touch on a few players for transfers. Declan Rice leaving West Ham? I assume so. Yeah. And I think he, he will go with the blessing of West Ham fans as well. I mean, yeah, they can't... Because you know how some people, they wanted him... He, he will now that he's produced goals, assists and performances to keep them up. Yeah. yeah. If they'd have gone down and he left, that's... Mm. That's peak. A horrible way to get go. Get over yeah. it. But, uh, it's a job. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Football fans need to realise they aren't fans. It's their job. If you went down and Declan Rice left, get over it. 
So he's meant to stay, pick up half the, half the wages when he could have doubled his wages just because you went down, just because because it's all his fault. Fucking get over no, it. No, it's more admirable though if he does. You know, it? You, mm. yeah. No, yeah. those are players. I'm not saying he has no, to. I don't it's, expect it's, him to. If you get relegated, your best more player. amicable split. If he'd have gone down, what? Well, hang on. Showed zero hang on. Hang, to hang on. The, club the same thing Grealish did, who got who got Villa back up and then kept him up, and then when he left, they all hated him anyway. So you can't win. So you might as well just go and earn as much money as you can. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I think there are still Villa fans that like also I never under, I never understood him now. No, but I never Trust understood me. why they would hate him and he literally gave that club a hundred million quid he gave everything for that club Theo, and went to Man City I know this is my obviously point obviously not going to turn down Manchester City why are you hating Jack Grealish I know not all your, fans are like that though like, are you talking a lot of oh, though that's my point majority, oh, majority of football fans are numb schools <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree with that they are are yeah. you talking about your two head? Aston Villa friends from your personal experience the whole fan base did you not see the reaction to when he left yeah yeah yeah. And, and they're gonna go, yeah, but it's because when he signed his new deal, he said, "I love this club." He signed the new deal so you could get the hundred mil when he left. He you also fucking still, idiot. he also yeah. probably does love Villa. He does. He's a Villa fan. Exactly. But we, you, you're gonna like any of you lot would turn down that contract he's on at Man City, and yeah. then then the, the, the Gucci deal, the Puma deal. Yeah. <laughs> He's sponsored by Gucci. You dirty villain bastards! Oh, okay, that's not needed. Oh, we can well, cut it out. Don't uh, uh, leave it. 